Hey guys, GNT here, and today I'm going to talk about Clockwork Planet. Uh, let's see. From the start of the episode, it has the issue that I have with a lot of anime as of late. They like start off with something big and epic and then go into, we're going to make our way back up to where we are at the very beginning. And I don't really enjoy that. Here's why. I like to gradually get to know characters, you know? I don't want you to show me the characters before I've met them in the show. Or before they're introduced, let's say that. So, that's honestly the only thing that I have to complain about with this episode. Well, with this first initial episode of the show. I'm talking as if this is a long-running thing when I just say this episode, but... Uh, you follow Naoto, I believe his name is. First episode, not really remembering names like that. And Ryuzu, which is uh, an automaton. That's made for combat. Which... I don't understand why people make robots for combat that are in the shape of women. <laughs> and why would a contract between the automaton and the person have to be extremely sexual? You know what I mean? I was like, well, you know, this goes on any longer. I'm going to have to just pause and go get the lotion. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah. Apparently, the reason why this is called Clockwork Planet is because that's what the planet they're on is called. Originally, when I first saw the title, because I didn't look into things, I don't really look into um, the anime that I'm going to watch. I just watch it and see, you know, what's up with it. And I assume that it would have something to do with time or something like that, but I didn't expect them to actually be on a planet made of gears. That's a pretty cool concept. And it's... It's something that's keeping me interested. Because like with most animes, if, if... If I'm not hooked by the third episode, I drop it. This one I kinda like. But... I'm still, you know... Uncertain on whether I'm gonna keep looking at it, because... Half of the episode is interesting, and the other half isn't. Like, when they show Naoto, it's it's pretty interesting. But when they show, um, the little, uh, Flip. Ah, uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, little blonde chick. What's her name? Marie, I think. When they do stuff with her, it's, it's rather boring. Just being honest. And it's kind of hard to actually keep paying attention, because I'm like, man, I'd really like to get back to the interesting stuff. You know what I mean? But it was just an intro episode. It was pretty good. Animation was pretty on point. I liked the art style. Uh, as far as characters go, the only two that really matter right now... Well, from the opening, you see that, that freaking Marie and, and Gangster do, because that's what he, he looks like. He looks like he's a gangster. And I don't mean gangsta. You know, I mean gangster. <laughs> Yeah, but those four are going to be the main characters, apparently, since they spoiled it at the beginning of the episode. Ugh. Uh, what? You know what? Never mind. Let me just let me just stop this here. This was, this was okay. Uh, let's see. I'd give this a, a three. Three out of five. Yeah. It could have been better. I did take off a point for the beginning, but it wasn't bad. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a great day.